Hello Pixels lovers, so in this video we are going to see how to auto-create sub-accounts using Public Connect. Okay, so Public Connect is inside my Go High Level SaaS tools. And if you go to SaaS add-ons right here, you'll see uh, Lightning Sapier Alternative. If you click it right here, you see that uh, Public Connect is a Sapier alternative that costs way, way less money. And yeah, so basically you have Go High Level. The only thing that I see that, that I don't like it is that uh, public uh, the high level uh, Sapier uh, it's white label in Sapier, is is lead connector, and in Publi is not uh, white label already. But yeah, so you can basically do the, the same as uh, Sapier, and Publi is, is is a very active software, and the founder is just amazing. It's actually in our in our SaaS Academy group. So if you have any questions, um, you can ask them right there, and you can tag them. Um, but yeah, so so this software costs show you is 149 uh, one-time payment is 3000 monthly tasks and uh, well you know you know they they know they are a, a sapier alternative so sapier costs uh, 2000 tasks for for 580 per year and you basically have the same apps and it's, it's, it's not too many uh, downsides um yeah i really recommend it because you can save a lot of money so yeah it's in my in my SaaS tools and so yeah let's go let's go and try to connect uh, the this um the sub accounts so what i'm going to do is okay so this this uh this workflow i will uh, add a link so you can import it inside your public account and yeah so you, you will have to connect high level you only have high level uh, legacy you'll use high level normal and then we go to create a location then connect here and if you you need to connect your high level uh, pro account so let's name it here high level pro account and you need your api key so let me go for my api key so you need to go to your api keys here and then just copy this one so the old one is not working so you have to create a new one and yeah, so basically it's just doing that. Copy the this and URL, paste it here. You know it's very long, so you know that is uh, is the good one because it's very long. And then just click save. And then you have the you, you, we need the business name, address, city. Well, not business name, address, and the email. I think yeah, the email. So yeah, let's let's go and create that. Um, what I'm going to do. Is creating a, a new account snapshot. The, so I have my my main snapshot is, that is called Full Dentrica. That's my software, and I this is the the I, I'm just trying to to create different SaaS with different features of, of high level. So yeah, this is the Full Dentrica snapshot that is connected with this account name, which is one of my clients. And then I'm going to create a new uh, a new snapshot that is called Basic Dentrica and yeah i'm going to connect this one and save it here so i will import this snapshot to every sub account that i create so that's what that's what i'm basically doing so yeah i have the full dentrica and then the basic dentrica which is this this one and uh, i will add this um this snapshot to every sub account that i'm going to create so i will need the the the, the snapshot ID. So let's go. You have to go to account snapshots, own snapshots, and then click in the basic Dentrica. This is the snapshot. And right here, you see an ID. So I'm going to copy this snapshot ID and paste it here in the um, snapshot ID. Yeah, this, this one. Okay, so I already have a lot of snapshots here. So I don't have, I don't need the snapshot ID, but you know, this that's a way to connect it. So yeah, basic Dentrica, that's my snapshot. So let's go and create my pipeline. So create uh, the actual automation. So create new pipeline. And then I'm going to call this one 001 Dentrica software. 
And then the first step is going to be opt-in. Second step is going to be client, well, no, uh, free trial. And then uh, client, new client, one. And then four, which is going to be cancel. This. So yeah, I already have this pipeline, opt-in free trial, new client. So whenever they fill the, a form, we are going to move them to new client and then uh, we are going to trigger the webhook. So let's go and do that. Let's go to create a new form. Let's go to sites, forms, and then inside uh, create a new form. Let's call it 001. I always try to call my, my forms with the, um, uh, with the pipeline name. So this is going to be 001 form new client. And then we need to ask for the, okay, let's see here, uh, sorry. Uh, ask for business name and address. So let's go to find a field. It's going to be organization or business name to be this business name. It's going to be require and address. Sim address and email. So let's also add this first name and last name, phone, email, and I don't know what we need. We also need, so yeah, I'm going to add everything because I have some um, custom values that are called, look, I, I'm using location city state in my, in my emails. So I'm going to make them fill this also. Address, city, state, country, postal code, city, postal, the state, country, postal code, website, and time zone. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to add the time zone here. So yeah, I think I, I have everything. And then let's click save form, integrate form, save form, form save. And let's go to automations, create a new workflow. This workflow is going to start from scratch, create a new workflow. And then uh, let's call it 001, 001 uh, form, new client. And then this goes to uh, pipeline line and then webhook webhook so let's let's call it this uh the form a uh, new client form fill then let's choose the form from submit a filter then form is the form new client say trigger and then let's add them to a new pipeline that is going to be the the tour stage opportunity name is going to be first name and opportunity source uh, yeah no, nothing and so my software is 97 per month so i'm going to uh, just name it like this 97 status uh, one and then um yeah we can no like this yeah save action and then let's go to add a webhook right here webhook webhook and this is the, the webhook that I'm going to use. So wait a second. Yeah, just using this uh, Chrome store that is called Blue, Blue Web. And yeah, so basically let's copy this, this one and then paste it right here. So wait, wait a second. Now oh, this is an iframe. So okay, so we paste it here, save action. And yeah, so that, that will do it, the new client form. So let's go and, uh, and just fill this form or I frame it inside my, the onboarding or whatever. And then, okay, let's go to sites, forms. This is the new form, edit, and then integrate form, link. Let's see it here. So what I'm going to do right here is uh, capture a new webhook. Yes, recapture, capture this webhook. 
So it's, we are waiting for the webhook. So let's fill this this out. It's going to be um, I don't know, like I'm in the dental marketing niche. So let's go and do dental new dentist dental name <laughs> dental to yeah whatever and then dental dot email dot com something like that yeah we don't need and then let's see this the name is going to be uh testing dental entrica address yeah i don't mind this address country let's choose this one and website yeah that one um yeah so we have all of the information let's click it here and then we shall we need to receive the response so let's wait let's see if the automation work automation oh it was in draft damn okay so i will do it again yeah so i'm doing it again because i didn't have this uh publish so let's click here in history and then we will see execute it's loading and working so we have the response received right here and then let's click uh, in let's map everything that's a save and let's map everything or oh, webhook business name so the business name it was organization i think we have it uh, here or let's my business name what was the business name Okay, so let me let me check it very quickly, and let's go to campaigns, no form, sites form, new client uh, form submissions, uh, new form new client, business name was basic to enter get test, yeah, so this one, and the address is going to be this one, city. Let's go fill the city, the state, country, and postal code. We added postal code, uh, website. Uh, yeah, we don't need the time zone. First name, yeah, we need first name, last name email phone number false false facebook name merge uh, yeah so i will add this as true um yeah so this basically does that everyone that has the same name in facebook yeah so let's go with false we don't need this uh, Trulia account because we have auto create uh, new uh, Trulia sub accounts. We don't need that. Snapshot ID, we have it. Let's make go on the main. So yeah, save and send and send test request. So I will see the basic Dendrica here. So let's just go and check if this is success. Save it. Okay. And then let's check we have this new sub account so i we have it right here uh we call it dendrica test uh, yeah so it's, it's right here basic dendrica test And that will do it. So yeah, we have this new sub account and then I have all of my funnels that I, I have inside my, um, in, inside the snapshot. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's working. I have all the workflows. I have my sub account dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. So this is working. So that's the video. Uh, I will, I will share 
this with you, with all of you. Uh, if you have uh, this, uh, I think it's share. So yeah, I will share this uh, with this workflow if you don't have it. But yeah, it's, it's very basic. Uh, you'll, you'll see it's, it's very easy to, to create sub accounts.